Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the solved problem based on the transformer EMF equation. Subscribe this channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive, link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the first problem, problem 1. The maximum flux density in the core of, core of a 250 voltage bar 3000 voltage. 50 heads single phase transformer is 1.2 Weber per meter square. If the EMF per turn is 8 voltage, calculate the primary and secondary turns and area of the core. So, in this is coming under the single phase transformer, the frequency 50 hertz, the voltage is 250, primary voltage 250 and secondary voltage 3000. Flux density is 1.2 Weber per meter square. EMF per turn also given 8 voltage, we need to find primary and secondary turns and area of the core. So, based on the given data, the maximum flux density Bm is 1.2 Weber per meter square. The V1 is given 250 voltage, primary voltage. Secondary voltage V2 is 3000 voltage. The frequency is 50 hertz. EMF per turn is given as 8, that is nothing but E1 by N1 and that is equal to E2 by N2. So, we have the relation E1 by N1 equal to 8 or E2 by N2 equal to 8. We need to find the value of N1 and N2 as well as the area. So, from this EMF per turn is given, this is E1 by N1 equal to 8. So, that from that we can write N1 equal to E1 by 8. Interchange these two. E1 by 8 equal to N1. So, that E1 is already given 250 voltage. So, 250 divided by 8, 31.25 turns. So, the primary turns is 31.25. So, the, by round off, you can take it as 31 or 32 turns. Similarly, this EMF per turns can also written as E2 by N2, referring the secondary side equal to 8. So, that N2 equal to E2 by 8 by interchanging these two, E2 by e 8 equal to N2. E2 is already given 3000 voltage, secondary voltage is 3000. So, 3000 by 8 is nothing but 375 turns. So, the number of turns available in the secondary is 375. Now, we will go to the area. We need to find the area of the core. So, it is given as the flux, the maximum flux equal to flux density into area. That is the flux density equal to flux by area from that flux equal to flux maximum flux density into area. So, our aim is to find the area. So, A equal to pi m by B m. Maximum flux divided by maximum flux density. This maximum flux density is already given. Given in the formula. B m is already available. But we need to find the pi m value. The flux is not given. So, from pi m and B m we can calculate the area. So, now we will see how to find the pi m. Maximum flux. So, we know that the EMF induced in the primary is given as the one more formula available E1 equal to 4.44 F pi m into N1 EMF induced in the primary. This F is the frequency, pi m is the maximum flux, N1 is the number of turns available in the primary winding. So, in this all the values are available E1 is available, pi available, N available. So, from that we can find the pi m value by rearranging this pi m that is this all these parameters are brought in the denominator. So, pi m equal to E1 divided by 4.44 F into N1, right. These terms are brought in the denominator. So, the E1 is 250 voltage and 4 point divided by 4.44 F is 50 and N1 is given as 31.25. That is we calculated the primary number of turns, primary turns V N1 we calculated 31.25. So, by simplifying this what we got 0 0.036 Weber. So, the maximum flux pi m equal to 0 0.036 Weber. Now, we got this pi m value as well as B m value already given, pi m value also calculated so that we can easily calculate the area of the core. So, area of the core A equal to pi m by B m. Pi m is 0 0.036, just now we calculated. Divided by B m is given 1.2. So, by simplifying this what we got 0 0.03 meter square. So, area of the core is 0 0.03 meter square. 
So now we calculated number of turns in primary N1, number of turns in N2 as well as area of the core. Now we will go to the second problem. A single phase transformer has 500 turns in primary, 1200 turns in secondary. The cross sectional area is 80 square centimeter. If the primary winding is connected to 50 Hz supply at 500 voltage, calculate the peak flux density and voltage induced in the secondary. So, the peak flux density means maximum flux density. So, from this formula, the given data are N1 is given, number of turns is 500, number of turns in primary winding. Similarly, number of turns in secondary winding, N2 also given 1200. The area also given, A equal to 80 centimeter square. In order while converting into meter, it is 80 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square. Right? Centimeter mean we need to multiply with 10 to the power minus 2. Here, centimeter square is there. So, it is multiplied by 10 to the power minus 4. And primary voltage is given, applied voltage. Voltage applied to the primary winding is 500. We need to find the flux density, maximum peak flux density and voltage induced in the secondary. So, we know that the EM of induced in the primary E1 equal to 4.44 F pi m into N1. This is a very basic formula, EM of induced in the transformer. So, in this, this E1 value is given, applied voltage is given, frequency is given, N1 also given. So, that from that easily we can find the pi m, peak flux density or maximum flux density. So, bring all these term in the denominator, so that pi m equal to E1 divided by 4.44 F into N1. So, the E1 is given as 500 divided by 4.44 into the frequency is 50 hertz. Number of turns in primary is 500. So, by simplifying all this value, we got the pi m equal to 4.504 into 10 to the power minus 3 Weber. So, the maximum flux we calculated, but what we need is flux density, right? 4.504 into 10 to the power minus 3 Weber. But what we need is maximum peak flux density, Bm. Bm is nothing but pi m by A. Maximum flux divided by area, right? So that we will get the flux density, area already given. So the pi m we calculated 4.504 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by area. Area is 80 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square. So by simplifying this, what we got? 0.563 Weber per meter square. So, the peak flux density or maximum flux density is 0.563 Weber per meter square. Now, we need to find the voltage induced in the secondary winding, voltage available in the secondary winding. So, that can be calculated from the transformer turns ratio V2 by V1 equal to N2 by N1, right? Based on the transformation ratio formula, we have V2 by V1 equal to N2 by N1. In this, what we need is V2. So, that this V1 is multiplied here. So, V2 equal to V1 into N2 by N1. The V1 value already given, number of turns N2 and N1 also already given in the problem. So, that V2 equal to this number of voltage applied in the primary is 500, number of turns in secondary is N2 is 1200 number of turns in primary N1 is 500. So, by multiply, by simplifying this, we got 1200 voltage, that is this 500 and 500 got cancelled. So, we are getting 1200 voltage. So, voltage induced, EM of induced in the secondary winding is 1200 voltage. So, we calculated the peak flux density or maximum flux density and voltage induced in the secondary winding. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. Link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.